Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultimate Fishing Simulator once again. My name is Jeff Aviano. In this video, I'm going to show you how to catch bass the fastest way, the easiest way, and these suckers are worth some money. You can make $100 to $130 per bass, uh, as long as it's not a small mouth. So, we are going to head over here to the boat. We are in beautiful Lake Powell, but before we get on the boat, I'll show you what we're working with here. We've got uh, version 149 at the bottom left, as you can see. Here we go. Rod. I am now using a Dakino AGH-175, which is a level 9, because I'm a level 10 now with $1,226 in the bank. And the reason why I have a lot of money is because I have made it to the ocean and, and Baikal Lake, so I'm making uh, good money off of sturgeon and amberjacks that bring in like $300 a piece. Here we go to the reel. We have a Dakino FD-100, which has five drag steps. So it's no longer that zero to 100. We got five to choose from, which is really nice. Line-wise, we're using the monofilament still. We've got a 31 pound test and we are a level eight for that. You see, I kind of just skipped through a few things. And the reason why is because I was like, oh, I forgot to upgrade my equipment. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. So let's talk about baits for a minute. We're not gonna be using live bait. We're gonna be using spoons, spinners, wobblers. Those are the three we're gonna use for bass. With spoons, this one right here, the Dakino QRT2, requires a level four to get it, but once you get the QRT2, you are going to catch bass. It's a guarantee. So save up for that one. That is what you want, and the size is two of five. Let's talk about striped bass. To catch striped bass, I have never failed catching striped bass with the Okina GX357, which is a level eight, so you gotta wait a little bit, but once you get there, man, you're going to nail those, those striped bass. Otherwise, they're just going to look at your lure and go, what is that? You know, anything else you throw in the water. Spinner baits, I've caught some largemouth off of the Kubat uh, KKW6 here. Uh, it's a level 5 lure, not too bad. Um, I do have this one here, the WU15. I've caught one off of that before, but they really like this one better. Even that green on there, they like. Uh, Wobbler-wise, we've got the Okina PP176. This thing here... I've caught uh, largemouth bass with quite a few times, and it's really good. We're going to start off with the spoon, the one I was talking about, something that's a little easier for people to get to level four, the QRT2, and I'll show you where we go to find some bass. Let's hit resume, and let's enter the boat. There we go. We have a bunch of fish hanging around here. We can hit H, and uh, we can see those fish. There they all are hanging out over there. They're pretty pretty deep. It's it's in the middle of the day, so they're a little bit deeper. But what we want to do is try to draw them out of their their comfort zone. And see if we can catch them. Now striped bass, they like to be in the middle of the lake sometimes. Uh, they do they do tend to be on the sides, but for the most part, I've had all my luck in the middle of the lake. Uh, I leave the marina, as you can see there, make our right turn, and we're going to head up this way. This brings you to the open part of the lake up there where the buoys are. There's a, quite a few fish around here. I mean, this is pretty populated right along here, so we're just going to slow down for a second. And we're going to get out and have a look here. Uh, if they're not largemouth, we're not really going to be worried about it too much. Although those look like some pretty decent sized fish. Let's see what they are. And we'll start by, these look like largemouth, honestly. Let's start by throwing this thing in the water. And we are going to see if they're largemouth. Because if they're largemouth, they will hit this lure in a, in a heartbeat. So I throw it out there, bring my reel speed all the way down. We're going to let this thing sink to about 8 to 10 feet. Uh, about 8 feet works great. So there's 8, start reeling. Nice, straight, slow reel. It's what you want for this particular style of fishing. And these bass, the way they behave is they're going to wait to attack the lure. So if you throw out there quite a ways, it might take him a minute to actually come after it. He it looks like he's interested in it, though. I think we have one trailing. Maybe not. But you want to watch for any bites. And when they hit that lure, set that hook immediately with your right mouse button. And is he going to go after it? Nope. He just surfaced. He didn't care about our lure at all. But we did drag them up here, to, so they're kind of interested in what, what's going on. So let's throw it out there again. 
remember with bass fishing it takes uh it takes a little bit of time and patience so let's see let it go all the way down to about eight feet again we'll start our reel in we're trying to draw these guys out and there you go little fish head over that way because you know you see that lure in the water and they hit it really quick too so you got to be ready for it there it is right there we right click it there i'm going to bring my drag up and we're going to pull back and reel it in pull reel keep pulling them up a little bit more there reel it in this is pretty much how you fight a bass you can use that right mouse button to get that rod in the air it really does tire them out and then reel uh, or you can just do this motion here of moving your rod with the mouse over to the side and reel in over to the side and reel in and look at that we have 11.3 pound largemouth bass that's 88 experience points there uh and what's really cool is that you can sell these for 100 bucks so it's a good way to make money quite quickly now we know that the largemouth right around here uh, are hitting this type of lure i want to show you a different lure we'll use the wobbler on this one we'll equip it resume and this one doesn't require too much at all you just throw it out there uh, we bring our real speed back to or drag back to zero real speeds all the way down and it's just going to float on top of the water and you just reel it in nice and straight and these bass will come up from the depths and they'll nail it on top of the water it's actually pretty cool to see sometimes they jump when they hit the lure so we'll bring this guy in and wait and see if we have a bass like i said they wait till that very last minute before they hit the lure they'll follow it for a while here we go they don't seem very interested in it. oh no one is checking it out he's on the left over there but we're pretty far out i don't think he's gonna go for it yet he thought about it you see him right there now we can hit h to look under the water and see where these fish are hanging out oh there's one out there let's see if we can draw that one out just throw that way out there i have some pretty good uh casting skill now i've unlocked all right well, let's reel it in like this like i said straight and slow right on top of the water and this is the behavior of it right there it just wobbles back and forth on the surface of the water and the bass love it let's see if we can draw that guy's attention we're still 70 feet out there so we're quite a ways out there but this thing is rattling around the water making some noise and we do have some bass coming over there to check it out but does he want this lure yeah he does there he went right there he just hit it you saw him and look at that we got a fish on right just like that and this is a good way to save money up for your next endeavors in the game because you know the brown trout and the the rainbow trout they they bring you know 40 bucks here and and that's all fine and dandy but man the bass really do bring home the bacon there you go bud he's kind of tired immediately look at that another one 101 dollars now when they get a little bit bigger you'll you'll even make to you know like 130 bucks and you can't go wrong with that we'll sell that one and now I'll show you the next one so let's go to bait we're gonna go or sorry the spoon and we're gonna use the uh 357 which is down here this is my favorite lure and we're gonna go look for striped bass we are going to hunt for this striper who's that that's a striped bass right there that is a striped bass right there we're looking at cool all right well he's kind of close to our boat so let's move up a little bit or move the boat up just a hair we can fish off the back that's pretty good right there all right little guy where'd you go right over there so that's a striped bass and like i said to catch these you just they love this skinny lure throw it out there and do the same exact thing we did for the large mouth let it sink to about eight feet reel it in nice and straight slow and we should be good here there's eight feet reel it in nice and slow 
And I'm going to go underwater camera on this one to show you how they behave. There he is tracking it. He's coming right at it. Look, he loves the 357 lure. They just love it. And bam, nailed it immediately. You see that? Bring our drag up. Let's bring, get that rod in the air. Reel it in. Watch that tension. These, uh, these striped bass love to fight, man. They are, they're some good fighters. There you go, buddy. I don't like to keep the pole in the air when I'm bass fishing. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of scary because you can get that tension when they really start to pull. You can really, 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 really break that line very easily. So keep that in mind when you're you're going for a striper here. Let's go down here so we can retrieve him a little bit easier. Come here, buddy. He's huge. It's a big one. Yeah, he's already tired. 11.52 pounder. How about that? $104. Not too bad. You can move the mouse around now and, and, and spin the fish to look at him. That's something they added. We'll sell him for $104. Making that money. And look at that large mouth sitting right there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's use a spinner bait on this guy. I want to show you this one. And see if this large mouth wants to check out the spinner bait. Throw that out there a little bit. And I do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Let it drop down to about eight feet. Start reeling in nice and slow. And see if uh, they're interested in it. So that's how the striped bass came. You saw he was down deep. He came up to check out the lure and just nailed it. That's what you want right there. I think this bass already hears this lure in the water and he's already heading over there to be like, what is going on here? Something I need to know about. Nah, he turned around. Oh, no, it looks like he might go after this thing, but I'm showing you the different lures you can use to catch bass. And we have a pretty good success rate. Oh, he almost went for it there at the end. Let's do another one. There you go. Let it drop down. You have to be patient with these guys, especially when they start to swarm around your boat. You've got to be, you've got to be diligent. There we go. Boop. Start reeling. Nice and slow here. There's a few of them out there, but I want to show you the different lures that they will attack. They oh, we got one. We got one and that's on that spinner bait that I showed you. So this looks like a largemouth bass. It feels like one. You, you start to kind of guess what kind of fish you're dealing with whenever you're, um, whenever you're reeling it in, you're like, oh, I know what this is. I'll tell you one of the most difficult fish that I've had to land was a sturgeon, 30 pound sturgeon. It was ridiculous. There we go. Look at that. 11.13 pound, 100 bucks. Easy peasy. Not too bad, right? And you can just go all up and down this lake and uh, and just get bass for days. Now, you can go over to the left-hand side and, and over by the cove. Sometimes you'll see a big school of fish. And see how they're spread out right there? That's not too good. You want a good amount of fish hanging out. This isn't too bad right here. Eh, let's keep going. We'll keep moving our way down this way on the lake. But you just hit these bass left and right, left and right. As long as you know what lures to use, you can't go wrong. And this is the best way to level up your profile to get to the open seas. Get the bigger fish. And we're going to show you that later on here. We're only 15 minutes into this thing, and I just wanted to show you how you catch bass because I know a lot of people want to bass fish in this game, and it's a little front. There's a big school right there on our left. Uh, it's a bit frustrating whenever you start out and you don't know what the hell. Hit H for our hunter king little thing here. They're down there pretty deep. They look like crappie, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's a little frustrating when you keep throwing your lure in there and a striped bass just stares at it like, yeah, I'm good. Not worried about it. Let's hit E. We're bringing this thing back to the marina. 
And let's move on to the next uh, part of our fishing. We're going to fish for some sturgeon and maybe some whitefish. And then we're going to finish it off with the amazing amberjack. And I'm going to show you guys how you catch those. So we're going to talk about bass fishing, sturgeon, and the amberjack. All right. So Baikal Lake here. We've got perch, Baikal omul, Baikal sturgeon, and whitefish. We're going to choose this one. And let me show you something. I have better luck catching sturgeon at night. So we're going to do a little bit of night fishing on this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can use a little flashlight whenever they get closer to the edge. And I'm going to give you a few tips here on catching these guys. Because now when we move into the realm of bigger fish, we need to make sure that one thing is turned on. And that is very important. Let's make this night early morning. About right there. Um, we're going to go to the options menu and here automatic netting currently the netting is very buggy uh, And now that we're going to be attacking some bigger fish. We have to net these fish to bring them in uh, You can bring them to the shore, but you can't pick them up. They have to be netted uh, And the manual netting is very buggy and you may miss your fish completely. So make sure automatic nettings turned on uh, Bait indicators what I was talking before that little HUD that's above your bait if you want to turn that on or off It's right there and uh, we're good. So we can hit L, turn our little flashlight on. Pretty cool. And let's talk about catching a sturgeon. Let's go to our float. So we're going to take this thing off. We're going to put our float on. I have a nice float down here. I use this one here, the Dakino G625. We're going to equip that guy. As far as hooks go, you want to have a medium sized hook, either a two or a three. I go with the three on sturgeon. And we're going to equip that. Now, baits. Let's talk about baits for a sturgeon. We're going to use cut bait. You can use cut bait small. You don't have to use the large cut bait down here. You can use the small one. And they seem to be perfectly fine with that. Uh, we'll hit equip. And that's all you need. You don't even need to put a couple on there. You, you just put one on there. And that will work just fine. Now, what you want to do. Turn our little light on here. Don't cast on the rocks. You won't be able to land this fish. You need to put your hip waders on, go out as far as they let you go, about right there. That'll work. And let's give one good, healthy cast way out there. Bring my reel speed in about there. That'll work. Zero drag. And now we wait. We got a bite. And set it. There we go. We got it. We got a nice, nice one there. Let's go ahead and put our drag up a little bit here. Start working on this fish. These guys are not easy. Look at that. Careful with the tension there. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. We just want to tire this guy out. Let's bring our drag to where he's not taking any more line. I'm gonna go about a hundred setting right there. Watch our tension and use your rod uh, angle here for that tension. Reel in a little bit here. Keep him, keep him working. Up like that. Pull a little bit. You don't use it. If you use your right mouse button, look, you can easily over tension the line. Keep that in mind. These things fight. And uh, when they get a little bit more of a oomph, when they get closer to you, they can really run your tension really quick because they like to dart left and right. Keep working on him here. He's about 70 feet out there. We still got a lot of work to go here. Bring our reeling speed up a little bit here. There we go. Keep working on this fish. And with these guys, you can try to get your tension down a little bit here. Let him let him go out a little bit more. There we go. Get your rod up in the air and hold it there and then start reeling in a little bit more. And this will tire him out pretty quick, especially at 100 drag. You just got to keep an eye on that tension. There he is right there. Look how big this old bastard is. You can barely see him here. I'll turn the light on. You, you can see him. There he is. He's like a damn shark out there. That's how big they are. Look at that sucker. Huge. All right, I'm going to drop my pole down a little bit here. He's beached. Oh, no. That is a bug in the game right there. Right there's a bug in the game. You see that? When you beach him, it instantly sends your attention to 100% and you lose the fish. That's the most frustrating thing. And he got our bait. Fantastic. Well, we'll buy another one. We'll equip it. We're going to throw it out there and we'll try to catch another one. That's a bug in the game. I really, really hope they fix that. It's a game breaking bug in my opinion, because 
As soon as you beach him like that and he gets on his side, he's in the water, but he's on his side. There's nothing you can do about it. It just, it goes to 100% tension. You got to kill your drag 100%. It doesn't make any sense, but keep that in mind. All right. We wait again. Got a bite. Took a while. And set that hook. There we go. Not going to let this one get away, guys. Let's go ahead and put 100 drag on that sucker immediately. Get this rod up in the air, and we're going to tire this sucker out quick. You're not going to get away. He, he kind of... It took a while for, for one to even check out what we had going on here. Let's bring that down. All right. I'm just going to work him like this. Remember, we'll set our drag down as we get him closer to the shoreline here. Yep. And remember, they, they like to go left and right when you get closer to the shore. So be ready for that spike in the tension. About 100 there. That'll work. Oh, there he is. Right over there. Another big surgeon. Don't let him get away this time. He's, he's right here. There we go. Tension zero. I'm going to actually pull his ass towards me. There we go. And we're going to walk down here and we can net his ass. Finally. There you go. So we caught a Baikal sturgeon. And we can sell them for 160 bucks. This is another bug. When you get the sturgeon, you get like two frames per second. Don't ask me why that's been happening. But that's 160 bucks for that fish. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, to be perfectly honest with you. So that's pretty much how you catch a sturgeon. And let's move on to Pin Pinus, Pinas Bay. And catch some amberjack. So Pinus Bay, Pinas Bay, I don't really know how you uh, pronounce it. Uh, southern coast of Panama. We can catch Dorado, Greater Amberjack, and Rainbow Runner. Now, there's marlin and stuff in the game, but it's not activated yet. So we cannot catch them, unfortunately. No deep sea fishing has been unlocked officially. However, we're going to go for the Greater Amberjack. That's what we want. We're going to hit choose. And we're going to go to this bay. You can take a, a boat out or you can fish right off the pier. We're going to take a boat out. And I'm going to show you how to catch an amberjack. They take, uh, they're very picky about what they like. And I was on a live stream trying to catch these things. And I tried every single thing I could think of in my repertoire. And uh, I could not, uh, could not catch them. And then it was so simple. I read the encyclopedia and it mentioned that they liked fish eggs and I was, or they kind of hinted at it. And I was like, you know what? That's one thing we did not do. And that's what we're going to do today. Let's make this a little bit earlier in the, not early in the morning, but kind of like that. That looks nice. You can see the amberjack. Look how big they are. They're already feeding there on top of the water. There they are down there. Look at those guys. They're huge and they are worth some money. The Amberjack are worth some money. All right. There they are over there as well. So we're going to go take this beautiful yacht. I would love to see like bass boats or something smaller. You know, that'd be nice. Saltwater boat. Look at all the fish on the fish finder. They're pretty big. Look at these guys. They're everywhere. They're literally swarming. This is a pretty good spot right here. All right. This will work. Let's hit R. And we'll go to the back of the boat right here. And let's fish to the left there. We hit H. We can use our little fish finder. Look at all the fish. Tons of them. And that's amberjack right out there. To catch amberjack, we're going to do float fishing again. However, the bait's going to be different this time. We're going to use fish eggs. They're right here. And we're going to equip them. Two of them. Just like that. Make sure your depth is all the way down. Same like we do for sturgeon. Resume that. And we're just going to cast the sucker out there. I'm going to use the lure camera so you can see just exactly what we're working with here. And just let these fish eggs just dangle right here. And an amberjack will come up and nail it. As soon as he gets a scent on it, he's going to come up here and be like, uh, yeah, I want that. So we're going to go up here, bring our line slack in a little bit here and wait. Doesn't take too long for these guys. There it is right there. Already got a bite. Uh, set that hook right there. And we are fighting this fish. 
Put about 80 on the 10 for our drag right there. Start working the fish. Get my rod up in the air here. And tire him out. Boy, they don't seem to be fighting too bad today. There's a new update that came out. Oh, man, he's right there. He is literally right there. Look at that sucker. He's 16 feet depth right now, but he's close. Let me hear you. So with Amberjack, I like to have my rod in the air like this. Helps him tire out. Let's bring that in a little bit here so we don't break the line. Where you at? This thing is bugging out like crazy. I think he's under the boat or something. What the hell's going on? What is this? This is the helicopter bug that people talk about and I never experience. But we're gonna get it to line broke because of the tension. No, it's because of the bug of the game. Well, that's really unfortunate, isn't it? Well, he didn't take our eggs though. Let's throw it back out there again. All right, so maybe it's something wrong with the boat. Let's go to the left side here. Do the same thing. We're gonna throw it out there and wait for him to nibble on it. That's really a shame. Let's go to the underwater camera so you can see how they, uh, they just come up to it, they sniff it, and then they bite on it. That's what they do. They don't do anything too crazy. Their behavior is, uh, isn't that mysterious, I'll say. Come on, Mr. Amberjack. Oh, here comes one on the right. You see that? He's like, ooh, fish eggs? I think so. He slows down. He's going to go bah, 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 like that. Wait about six seconds. Bam. Set that hook. Fish on. Set that tension to 80. Watch that tension. Woo. This one's got some fight in him. The last one was just bugged out, man. We brought him in so quick. He was not even tired the slightest. This one's fighting us. Look at that. You can see the water cutting around out there. There you go, buddy. Oh, careful there. Yeah, this is how they're supposed to fight. The last one was completely bugged out. Remember, this is a very early access game. And they are working on it. Their number one priority right now is fish AI and the behavior of the fish which is very, very important for this kind of game. Come on, buddy. Pull. Reel in. There's another Amberjack right here. Look at this guy. He's still out there a ways, though. He's 90 feet out. I set my drag to 100 and start reeling him in a little bit more. Bring that tension up. I was so slightly wear this guy out. Because in my experience with catching these fish, they don't tire out very quick. You, they fight you for a while. So it's, I think that's our problem here. Don't helicopter. Don't you helicopter. There he is. Gotcha, little bastard. And look at that. A 33-pound greater amberjack. You get 264 experience points, and you can sell them for 300 bucks. So that's how you make fast money out here. Like, it's it's... And it's consistent. I mean, you could throw this thing anywhere and catch another one if you wanted to. Let's let's do one more today. Same thing. Oh, I didn't even check to see. Oh, no. Look at that. We even kept our bait. He didn't even get the bait. That's, a, that's winning right there. But the amount of money that it costs for fish eggs is basically nothing. So for us to make $300 off of fish... It is just so much profit. It's unbelievable. Fish on. And look at that. You just start catching these amberjack for days, man. It's so good. Bring that tension down. Start working on this fish. Bring that pull up. And drop. There we go, buddy. He's running with it off to the right, it looks like. Where are you going? Where are you going? Off to the right? I don't think so. There we go. So you can see quite a big variety in fish. I cannot wait for deep sea. I really want to catch a marlin. That is going to be too cool. Wow, these guys aren't fighting too much today. I don't know what's going on with them. Oh, he's got a helicopter. Come here. Don't you, heli don't you helicopter me. Nope, you're going to break the fucking line because it's under the boat. There, give him some line. 
whenever it starts to do that, you can hit the space bar, you know, and just let, let him have some line. So we're doing that. There he is off to the right there. He's, he's, he's bugged out for sure. It looks like. So you can see the ocean fish is still being worked on. Come here, you. Oh yeah. He's giving up. Whenever they lay on their side like that, they give up. Let's reel the sucker in. Come here. There we go. Got him. For what? A rainbow runner. I've never caught a rainbow runner. So you can catch a rainbow runner on the same bait. 46.69 pounder. 373 XP. Sell that for $424. I think so. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. I did not expect that. Let's get back on the boat. I'll just show you a little bit more of the bay. Eventually, we'll be able to go out and uh, to the open seas and catch marlin. Not a fast boat by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. But you can fish all up and down here. And never mind. It looks like uh, we left. <laughs> or it's loading in something else. I don't know. It's loading a map or something. We're learning this together today, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what it's doing. So we've caught bass, we've caught sturgeon, we've caught amberjack, and the elusive rainbow runner. That's pretty amazing. I don't know what this is doing. Looks like it's re... Oh, we are in the open seas now. This is what will we'll be... Uh, so you drive past the buoys and it unlocks this. And uh, there are big fish out here, apparently. Let's see what's out here. We'll hit R and look around. Big fish out there. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it's a big fish. And we have no bait. Let's see if they'll uh, go for a large cut bait. Let's see. Equip that sucker on there. And where's it at? I've literally never been to the open ocean before in this game. Let's just cast it out there just to check it out. Uh, and go underwater. Yeah, not a whole lot of action happening here. And I don't even know what kind of fish species there are. Unless they unlocked the marlin. Like, I really don't think they did, but it doesn't look like it. No, those look like normal fish to me. They look like normal fish. I still want to be able to look around the lure. I think that'd be cool, you know, to have a 360 camera around the lure. That would be nice. In a perfect world... We'll see if we can catch something out here in the open seas. That that would just... That would be the... We got a bite! Bam! And fish on! Not, not sure what it is. But it's probably going to be an amberjack based on the bait we're using here. Wow. Whoa. There he is out there. You can see him pretty far. For a second there, I was like, um, is that a shark? <laughs> It's not a shark. And we're not going to cheat. We're not going to use the underwater camera so we know what kind of fish it is either. Come here. Pull this way. It looks like a amberjack. Or a rainbow runner. Come here, buddy. Uh, he's uh, He already gave up. Like, what is going on today? Let's pull this sucker in like that. Okay. No. Pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull, pull, pull it up. That's where we can get to net. What do we got? A Rambo Runner. Another one. $402. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll sell him off. And guys, that is going to do it for this. I'm going to show you my trophy room before we get out of here. And uh, you'll see all the fish I have caught so far in this game. Go to the trophy room. It load that sucker in. And uh, we can awe at... Look at it's getting pretty big now. We're starting to catch some big big fish. Let's start here on the left hand wall We have our striped bass 13.3 pounder. Look at that Caught it at uh, Lake Powell We've got the greater amberjack and uh, Yeah, 36.51 pounds for him Pretty big. Those are those are some big big fish. Those are some good size fish. Here's our trout bull trout 6.3 pounds Cutthroat trout, 2.02 .02 pounds. Over here, we've got the brook trout, 
Only 1.6. He's a small little guy. I haven't ever caught a big one of those. Over here is our sturgeon. Look how massive this sucker is. 20 pounder. Big fish. Big fish. Let's go upstairs. Let me show you around my cabin. We've got a rainbow trout. 3.86 pounds. And this is where our bass, some other bass are. Smallmouth bass. 4.97 pounder. There's our white fish we've caught. I caught that at uh, Baikal Lake. Or Baikal. I have no idea how you say that. Here's our largemouth. The biggest one I've caught so far is a 13.34 pounder. Down here we have our rainbow runner. I'm very, very proud of that thing. 46 pound rainbow runner. It doesn't look that big. That thing's, what? 5.61 pounds and it's bigger than that. Yeah, they need to work on a fish size because that is not correct at all. That thing is tiny. And here's a little tiny black crappie. Look at that. 1.54 pounder. And that's the brown trout we caught that one time. How about that? Well, I'm going to leave here for now. Say goodbye to our cabin. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And out we go. One last thing, let's go to the fish encyclopedia and see how we're working on our fish levels. I really wish this wasn't part of the game, but it is. Uh, we've only caught five of the greater amberjack. We need 50 of those to level them up. Same thing with the uh, omel. Oh, no, I haven't even caught a single one of them. Uh, black crappie only caught one of those. Bluegill, haven't caught a single one. There's our brook trout, 15 of those. Uh, brown trout, 11. Bull trout, 18. Cutthroat, I'm almost there. 40. I just need to catch 10 more of them to level them up. And what that'll do is give us a bigger specimen. Catfish, I haven't caught any of those yet. We're, we're pretty close to going catfish uh, fishing soon. Soon. Dorado, I haven't caught one of those yet. We've got whitefish, two of those. Largemouth bass, 20. We need 50. Uh, perch, didn't catch any of them. Rainbow runner, two of those so far. Rainbow trout. 21 smallmouth bass six of them spotted bass haven't seen a single spotted bass not yet haven't caught one yet striped bass 17 of those suckers and the sturgeon five how about that and as you can see they did remove the marlins uh from the encyclopedia because it's not out yet look at that $2,900 level 10 we're almost to a level 11 that is going to do it for us today guys hope you enjoyed Hope you uh, catch some big fish out there, can level up, make some money. Take care.